Hey, hi guys. I am God, I'm a hot mess this morning, but um, I had to take a test even though I started spotting um, because I'm doing Clomid. After I take this test, I'm going to do an update, so stay tuned for that. Okay? Who does never want to focus? As you can see, it is negative. Well, I don't know if you can see because this stupid thing won't focus. There you go. Um, it's negative. I kind of expected that, but my doctor said I had to take a test anyway before starting Clement. And it would be at the point now um, at my cycle where if I was pregnant, it should definitely be positive. But I still have to take one the day before my H or the day of my HSG too. He said. Um, and I'm going to give you guys an update just one second. Hey guys, so it's later in the day after my life pregnancy test and um, I wanted to talk about what's going to happen now. I had to take that test. Um, my doctor said I needed to before I started Clomid and then, okay, and if you're just now finding me, this is going to be my fifth round of Clomid. We've been trying two and a half years. On the day after Thanksgiving, I am having an HSG, so um, he wanted to kind of do one last round of Clomid with the HSG, you know, just in case it needed to, like, clear something out um, before I uh, move on to the IUI phase of our journey. Um, so, I'm saying, like, um, a lot, but we are, we, I, okay, I said this in my last update. Some people are like, why haven't you done the HSG yet? You're, you know, been trying two and a half years. I've had ultrasounds. We know I had polycystic ovarian syndrome. My insurance covers nothing until we meet our uh, $6,000 deductible, and then they start covering 80%. So the HSG versus just trying Clomid was really, 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 really expensive for us. And we decided, since we already know that it's my issue, my husband's had a semen analysis, it's not him, that we would try Clomid. Um, so our plans moving forward are, we plan on doing IUI in January. We wanted to wait until the new year rolled around so it would go towards next year's deductible because at this point, I don't want like $1,200 to go towards a deductible that's about to be over and roll over into a new year. That just doesn't make sense. So that's kind of why my doctor's like, well, before you do that, let's try one last time. I will never do Clomid again. Um, some people are like, oh my God, you shouldn't do that many rounds. Well, I, I'm not doing Clomid ever again. You shouldn't, they say you should have more than six in your lifetime or whatever. I don't, it's made me ovulate while I haven't gotten pregnant. Okay, but it's made me ovulate, and after this, I believe the Fertility Institute we go to does injectable IUIs. Um, that's probably what I will be getting. I guess that's what I'm asked for, at least, or trying for Mara. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with us. So today I took my first Clomid. Also, this round is 150 milligrams. I did two rounds of 50 and two rounds of 100, and um, the first round I did, I ovulated beautifully on the 50, and my blood work was considered ovulation, my progesterone check. The next three rounds I did, then the next three rounds were considered low progesterone, like, mm, you might have ovulated, and then one of the rounds I said I absolutely didn't, but my OBGYN's office what they consider ovulation blood work, the fertility doctor that I'm going to be going to consider is it ovulation. So they said they're using like an outdated thing. So technically, yeah, I ovulated. Um, it just wasn't what my doctor really was hoping for progesterone wise, like in the numbers. So anyways, so that is why I'm doing 150 for my last round. And I don't know, it would be great and amazing if this was it. But at this point in our journey, it's hard to be like, it might really happen. It's more like it's never going to happen at this point. And I don't want to sound negative. You should always be positive. But I try to be real with myself that, you know, it's it could happen, yeah, but don't get your hopes up because it's probably not going to. 
that's just the way after <laughs> two and a half years, you kind of have, I don't know, you get to a point like in your journey. I remember before a year I was nervous because I knew I had PCOS and the doctor I was seeing wouldn't help me. And then at a year and I changed doctors, I was hopeful, but I was angry. I was very, very angry. It's kind of like a whole range of emotions and it, like sad, grief, acceptance. Like, I'm kind of at like acceptance in a weird way. Not that I'm accepting defeat or whatever. I'm just kind of like... I've accepted that I'm probably not going to have kids unless there's some kind of drastic intervention. Like, well, I just say drastic, but pro I, I honestly don't even at this point know if an IUI would work. That's why we only plan on maybe doing one. I highly doubt we'll do two, but one or two. But most likely, I would rather, if one failed, save my money for IVM, which is kind of like IVF, but they mature your egg outside the uterus, so it's less hormones for you. Um, I don't know if the clinic we're going to does it. I have to talk to them once again. I'm going to not worry about that stuff till January because of the um, <clears throat> deductible. Um, my insurance doesn't cover infertility stuff, but if I have the fertility clinic bill my insurance and they see how much I spent it will still go to my deductible and even once my deductible is met it will still be out of pocket but then my doctor's appointments for normal stuff will be free so well 80% and then free if we hit 10,000 I know it's insane my insurance is insane um, but anyway this video is getting really long that's my update um, I will take one more test before my HSG because I'm supposed to but I'm not going to film that because obviously with this morning and the fact that I'm spotting, I'm not pregnant. So anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.